this situation. He's got so many blog blog sites inboxing me, bro. This crazy. Woke up on a viral moment, bro. Like, I just want my money back. Then the other night, we ain't got to put you on blast. As complex was a performance, you could go ask any promoter in the Bay was it a performance. He was chopping around to everybody. Man, I don't got to lie about nothing. I didn't pay for no walkthrough. I didn't pay for no host. The boy Dame said it was 30K all in for her to perform. And that's what we gave that, period. So the promoter that Book Lorilla said she will be performing live, not hosting, not a walkthrough. She will be performing live in Oakland, California tonight. Then he said, the first contract before we switched the venue and they wanted 5K more. I don't got to lie about no walkthrough. Then your guy responded and said, 30K to perform? You must have booked Lil Glow, not Big Glow, CMG. So this sounds like some bad management team shit. So I don't even put the blame on Glorilla. I put the blame on whoever booked her. I'm assuming somebody through CMG, your guy the label. I put the blame on them because how much do she supposed to get paid then? If, if 30K a show in the club not enough, then how much? Because she's still a relatively new artist. I know she did songs with Cardi B and she got like two or three popping songs out right now, but I don't see her really getting paid much more than 30K in a club. Like if she's doing, not like an arena, cause she's not big enough for a arena, but if she doing a venue that got like 2,500 seats, 3,000 seats, yeah, I can see her getting 60, 70. But in a club, I don't know how big the club is now. I'm just assuming the club holds no more than five, 600 people. If it's a 500 person venue, yeah, 30K to me on her level, because she's not big name. What album has she dropped? How many records she sold? I don't think she's worth that much in a club. So this is something that Yo Gotti got to communicate with her and whoever booking her because he said, look, I need my goddamn money back. I did not pay for no walkthrough. He posted the contract. He said, look, was not no walkthrough. It was a show. So I'm assuming she got up in there. They gave her the, the 30 bands and she was like, nah, this is not enough for me to perform. So it's some type of miscommunication. She need better management team. Yo Gotti need to do something because she is the artist. You got to protect your artists, no matter what, you got to keep them happy, make sure they keep performing, make sure everybody making money. So I don't know if she can get sued for this because I don't know how the music business work. But once you agree it on a contract, that's what it says, man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Be, make sure you like, subscribe. Oops.